Sunday, I briefly mentioned an idea for a spiritual discipline to try for Lent. Lent kicks off on March 6th, so now's a good time to think about what we might do for those 40-something days to stand ready for God's work in our lives. Since I was preaching on the great gift we have in Jesus' teaching, I suggested a simple discipline of setting aside our usual Bible study patterns and simply reading the red letters. By red letters, I mean a Bible that has Jesus' words in red, and just focusing on those red letter words. Actually, we need the Scripture's black letters too, but for a season like Lent, we can focus on the red letters just fine. And if you don't have a red letter Bible, just Google red letter Bible and you'll find lots of choices that you can read online. And as you do, you might try these four things. First, read the red letters. Just read through one gospel's red letters and then another gospel's red letters. Read to absorb, not to finish. Read till you're done for that day and then pick up where you left off the next day. Second, pray the red letters. Let what you read be the starting place for your prayer and see where the Lord guides you in prayer. Third, tell the red letters. Tell someone a piece of what you read. Hey, guess what I read today that Jesus said, and so on. And then fourth, do the red letters. Try to find at least one action that you can take for that day that arises from Jesus' red letter words. If you do take up this discipline for Lent, let's compare notes after Easter and see what the Lord did. My guess is that if we give that much attention to those red letters, we'll find that the Lord has been very busy in our lives. And that has to be to the good.